Hey guys, welcome to 2021. This week I'm doing a weekly vlog on my first training week of 2021. It's really exciting for me <laughs> because this is the first year in four years that I actually haven't had an injury. So my coach isn't having to modify my program in any way to account for my injuries. We're also, as you probably know, doing really, really well with COVID in Australia. So life pretty much looks normal. We are aware though that COVID can mean that plans change at the last minute with little to no notice, but we're just hoping for the best and going along with whatever happens. But to training this week. So this week I have three track sessions, two gym sessions, and about four ancillary sessions, which are things like Pilates, core and plyometrics to support the five main sessions I do. So on the track, I'm doing a lot more hurdling than I ever have. And everything is basically at race pace or is looking at race modeling. So we really are amping up the quality and the intensity, getting me ready to race. So um, having said that, my training week does begin on a Monday and I usually begin with either core and yoga, depending on how the body feels. So enjoy. Hey guys, um, sorry, we're at a bit of an awkward angle here, but it is now Wednesday. As you've just seen, I did some yoga this morning. Um, it's just because I was a little bit stiff and it was just a good way to stretch out. Wow, it's really hot. I'm going to open this door. Um, I've just arrived out at UQ this afternoon, so we'll do some hurdles um, today and also probably a little bit of speed. And then tomorrow I'll have gym and probably a few little circuits. And then Friday, just some hurdle drills and general recovery and stretching before Saturday, which is we'll be race modeling again. Um, the body doesn't feel too bad, but we'll definitely definitely see how I feel when I get started. Um, it's another really hot day but it is meant to storm this evening and cool everything down so that is very much I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I 
of the boat. strain uh, that we have in our community. We've got that cleaner who tested positive, so we've decided to go hard and go early with a three-day lockdown in the greater Brisbane region. So we're asking people to look at it as a long weekend to stay at home. <music> Second part of the session done. And can I just say running in a mask is so hard. I've also just realized mine's on inside out. Hold a sec. Not that much easier, that'll make it to run. Every time I went to suck in, just get a mouthful of mask. Also, yes, I did put a little bit of tinted moisturizer on. They're starting to rain again. I'm more annoyed at all the dirt that's on me. Hey guys, well, what a week. So it's currently Sunday afternoon and the sun has just come out for the first time in pretty much like two days. Um, and we are day two into our snap three day lockdown in Brisbane. So this morning, in between the morning showers, I just went out and did my usual warm up and stride throughs for a Sunday. Um, training in a mask was certainly very different, but I still think I managed to keep the intensity up, which is really good. I will train tomorrow again by myself in a mask and hopefully the lockdown will be ending then. Um, 
but other than that, I think the week has gone really, really well. Like I said at the start of the week, everything is just about getting ready to race. And that's pretty much what I focus on before the start of every rep. It's like, if this was a race, what would I need to be doing? Um, particularly when we go over the hurdles, one of my weaknesses in recent years has been that I mark up the first hurdle of the race and you really need to set up your race well and get to that first hurdle. So when I'm in the blocks, I'm really paying attention to everything I'm doing so that I can replicate it in a race and be confident that, you know, what's worked in training will work in racing so that I produce the results I want. So that's it for another vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, again, comment down below any questions you have about why we do things or anything you'd like to see in a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.